Hello, today I'll be teaching you how to install source mod and meta mod for Counter-Strike Global Offensive servers. Uh, this also works for other source games, but I'll be covering Counter-Strike Global Offensive in today's video. Uh, you'll need to download source mod from this website. I'll have a link to both downloads for source mod and meta mod in the description below. Um, you'll need both of them for source mod to work in Global Offensive. Uh, just click on download usually on the website and select your OS version um, using Windows and this is a Windows tutorial okay now head over to the MetaMod page and look for the MetaMod the latest version of MetaMod for Windows and download that as well The next step is to simply just extract both files. You'll need to extract using WinRAR, WinZip, or some other extraction software. I'll have a link to WinRAR in the description, it's the one I use. Uh, just extract both files into their own folders. Okay, now you have to transfer all the MetaMod contents to the source mod folder, but you need to put it in the right place. So open up source mod. and go into the add-ons. Go back to your MetaMod folder, the one that you extracted, and click in that add-ons folder as well, and drag all the contents into the source mod. Press yes if it asks you to. Okay, now if your source mod files looks like the files I have here, then you've done it right. Now for actually putting source mod on the server. You need to put the add-ons folder into the CSGO folder in your Counter-Strike files. Okay, click your CSGO folder and the add-ons folder will need to be put in next to these files. So just drag add-ons into the root of the CSGO and it should look like this when it's done. You could also drag the CFG or uh, the source mod in the CFG into the CFG. I already did it, so it's just asking me to replace, but there you go, source mod is on your CS server. Okay, now let's just launch the server to see if we installed source mod correctly. If you follow the steps, then you should have installed it correctly. But I always like to test it, just to make sure it's installed properly. You could test it by entering a few commands into the console to see if you have source mod installed. To see if source mod is installed, simply type this command, sm space version, enter. Okay, this will tell you everything you need to know about your source mod installation, like the version and all of that. If you see that, then you've installed source mod correctly. Okay, now I'll be teaching how to do something with source mod, like add an admin. Navigate to your add-ons, source mod, configs and the admin underscore simple dot any right click that and edit this file will control all of the admin abilities on your server like who is admin this is all done through steam id and source mod flags there is an example given right here it's very simple the layout is very simple but i'll be teaching you how to get your steam id and what flags to use okay first you need your steam id you could type status in console when you're in a game or you could go to this website and paste your community ID like I'm showing you right now. Just get your Steam link. Here's my Steam profile. Above is my actual Steam community link. Copy that. Go back to this website, Steam ID Finder, and paste it. And then search. It'll give me my Steam ID. I'll just copy my Steam ID right here. Now go back to the admins file and do a quotation mark paste your steam ID, another quotation mark, space, quotation mark again. This steam ID will have owner access or root access and will be given all the commands. Just type 99 for 99 immunity, colon, and then Z, quotation again. Okay, and now do forward slash forward slash, enter their name or a little note or something just to keep track of them because unless you remember all the steam IDs, it's pretty difficult to tell who's who. When you're finished, just go to the top left, click File, Save, then restart your server and everything should be good to go. The letter part is the actual flag part and the number part is the immunity level. I'll have a link below to the source mod wiki and they'll teach you everything you need to know about immunity levels and flags.
Now let's go test to see if the admin abilities are all there. Okay, to open the admin menu, go into the console and type sm underscore admin. Enter. Okay, here are all the commands. You see, I have all the commands. I could slay people. And I could do a lot of things to people. Like I could drug myself. Just and um, yep, I have root access, so I have access to every single command. So like choosing the map um, and pretty much everything. Voting, I could vote, call a vote for anything. You know, uh, I could ban someone. So you ban that guy for 30 minutes. You could also do a lot of these commands through console. You can also do every command through console. You don't have to open the menu every time. So like I'll just uh, drug someone. You know, I drug myself through console. And to take it off, you just put the command on again. It's like a toggle type thing. And I'll just kick myself here. Uh, and, yep, kick myself. You've been kicked from the session. And that's pretty much source mod is. You could do a lot of things like that. Okay, may as well just show you how to install plugins as well. Go to this website and put your game in. This one's Counter Strike Global Offensive, so it'll show me all the plugins for Counter Strike Global Offensive. I guess sort by category, you know, I could put some fun stuff in. Let's just look for a fun plugin just to give an example. Okay, uh, let's just do this chicken spawner right here. Just click the chicken spawner, and to get it, you know, on this website alliedmodders.net it'll have a download at the bottom of the forum post so just download it from there it'll be an attachment and okay most of the time these are always a zip file so you have to extract it I already extracted it here so just click it source mod and you'll usually have three or four files and it's very simple to install these just go to your CSGO of server folder and then go to your add-ons and then go to source mod and then simply just match the plugin file from the plugin you downloaded into the plugins folder and then the scripting into the scripting folder and the translations in the translations folder and that's pretty much it and your plugin should be installed restart the server and it should be on there okay here's just me testing it uh, here's the command I believe it is you see every time I enter the command it spawns a chicken at where I'm aiming pretty simple plugin there's a, there's a lot of simple plugins like these but there's also very advanced plugins that like have custom weapons even uh, server management plugins like bhop plugins there's there's a variety you just gotta search for them to find them and just really make your server unique and find the formula for what people on your server like and what plugins you find interesting and just it it's pretty interesting that's why community servers uh, like are my preferred method of playing because there's just so many things you could do so like, I could just spawn chickens like in my opinion source mod is a must for any source game it just there's so many things you could do managing uh, like kicking players, banning people for like griefing and stuff like that. And just the plugins you can install, it just it makes your server just very good and you really need this if you're gonna run a CSGO server or any other source game server. But thanks for watching. I'll have a link to everything I um downloaded in the description. So yeah, and if you want to make a CSGO server, I also have a tutorial for that and a port forwarding tutorial to go along with that. So I really have a tutorial for everything you need to know about CSGO servers. So yeah, subscribe, like, do whatever. Bye.